Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at HobbyFarms.com. They have an article, Five Ways Farmers Can Troubleshoot a CSA. CSA stands for Community Supported Agriculture. Oftentimes, farmers will seek uh, subscriptions from locals. You know, might be a half membership, full membership. Half membership might be $100, full membership might be $200. Odds are it's usually a bit more than that. Sometimes it's charged monthly, sometimes it's charged seasonally, or even year-round if you are growing food year-round. But finding customers for that CSA can be a bit tricky. The first tip, marketing. During the wintertime, do some marketing, post on social media accounts. I'd also recommend several joining several groups that may be on the social media pages. You know, local food lovers groups, nature lovers groups, that sort of thing. And maybe it's not food related, maybe it's just a hobby or learning a foreign language. Get out there and network with people that you have something in common with. Maybe putting up some flyers or paying someone to put up some flyers. Knocking in some of your neighbor's doors, bringing them a little bit of free produce when you have a surplus, that sort of thing. Lots of ways you can get your name out there. Uh, don't forget to mention it at your farmer's market booths, maybe at uh, restaurants you might or grocery stores you may sell to. Maybe some of the employees there may want to join your CSA. Production. You want to make sure you're producing the right kind of food. And uh, is it the best food possible? Are you cleaning it well enough? Now, they, packaging is also part of this. You want to make sure the food is pretty clean. They aren't probably expecting something pristine. After all, it's coming from a real farm, not a factory farm. But you don't want them to have too much work, otherwise they might just give up altogether on it. Packaging. Some people are turned off by having too much packaging, too many cartons or boxes. So they recommend package what you have to, the greens, but maybe avoid packaging less sensitive crops like potatoes and eggplants. Distribution. So sometimes they might give a little bit too much food and rather than not enough. Both can be serious problems. People don't like to waste food, especially those that are interested in local food. I'd also like to add that distribution could mean many different things, uh, such as delivery. Maybe you're going to deliver to people who are members of your CSA. That can be very time-consuming. Maybe you're going to have drop-off points. Uh, maybe you're expecting people to just come to your farm and pick it up, and that could be holding back a whole lot of people from actually making that commitment to join your CSA. So consider drop-off points or uh, maybe group deliveries. You know, you deliver to one person who will be a drop-off point for multiple neighbors, lots of ways you can handle distribution. And lastly, customer service. Make sure you respond to messages on time as quickly as possible. Um, make sure you're easy to reach. So if you have a social media page, make sure you check that social media page regularly, as well as any email or phone numbers you may have associated with your business. And always look for ways to exceed customer expectations. You want to provide a wow factor. And if people ex have really high expectations, you know, they expect the moon and you can't even deliver them into orbit, well, you're not going to get very many return customers that way. So manage their expectations and then find a way to just go slightly above it. Put an extra tomato or two in the box or maybe a, a free recipe or something to help them utilize that food. Exceed expectations, provide that wow factor. You'll have repeat customers and more referrals. I will link to this page in the description if you want to read more about it. If you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.